Hi there, just wanted to show you an alternative to using PowerPoint or some variation of it, such as open office uh, form of uh, making stage designs here. If you're already set up and you've got a gazillion copies uh, downloaded or provided from another website and so forth, all power to you, but maybe for the newer match directors, stage designers, or someone who wants something different than a PowerPoint software to use when creating stage designs for the Dallas Pistol Club, you might want to take a look at the Trident Stage Designer that I have up here. Yeah, it cost you something, but I figured uh, for my preference, 10 bucks a year, and uh, there are some discounts. If you have a lot of people show up, go ahead and do that. Uh, it's primarily designed, I think, to benefit the IDPA or the USPSA shooting associations, and um, it does work for that. However, I do find it also works for uh, Dallas Pistol Club stages, uh, at least uh, the pistol stages, whether it would work uh, that well for uh, shotgun or uh, steel, that's another matter to be decided. They do have a demo here from their homepage. Uh, but I do like a feature. There's some uh, 23,000 plus stages and growing. So you can uh, borrow or copy over somebody else's stage out of 23,000. I'm sure you'll find something uh, worthwhile. And once you've uh, got those stages in your library or copied over and so forth, you can wind up sharing to them. But I'm just going to take you to a quick demo here showing you what uh, you can easily correct when you have it set up if you elect to uh, buy their uh, $10 annual subscription. Uh, right up here, what it's asking for, I'm going to put in and call it a demo stage. And you're all set. Uh, over here on the stage format, you can see the different formats. Uh, typically, I select other rules to apply for the Dallas Pistol Club. The scoring, uh, most of our stages seem to be unlimited. I'm going to do that. And if it's unlimited, I go down here to 99. That seems to take care of it. Put in the number of targets. I'll just arbitrarily put in number 9. Uh, steel. Most of the time, we don't have steel targets on many of the action pistol matches, concealment. In this case, I'll say not required. Uh, if appropriate, and you feel as the stage designer you want to put something in, uh, click on the uh, Enter Target Distances box. You can have the Entered Scored Hits. Uh, oftentimes, I will uh, put in two best hits will be scored for our action matches. And I'm going to move something here uh, in terms of a penalty. I'm going to... Uh, take that out and put it in the uh, penalty box here. So now, uh, in addition to uh, two best hits will be scored, I'm also going to say uh, each hit on a white target will be counted as a no-shoot penalty. Add in your notes that might apply to the uh, shooter or the RO or uh, the props or whatever the case may be that you feel is appropriate. Since uh, I'm in my account here, it's defaulted to my name, so you put that in. Over here is your uh, procedure box where you've got instructions for the shooter. Uh, what I've started doing is uh, the instructions that are applicable to the shooter, I'll put in this box, and then over here in this section, uh, put in the information more pertinent to the RO and that sort of thing. So in this box, I'm just going to type uh, some gobbledygook here to uh, simply as a page marker because here's the part that I really like. Uh, now here's your uh, target set, target set two, target stands, steel targets, barricades, props, labels, and notes. And I'll give you a demonstration of uh, at least something here. Typical target, just uh, click on the uh, target, drag and drop it right here. And you say, whoa, it's not big enough or I need it bigger. So all you have to do is hold down the shift key on your keyboard and you can stretch it and make it as big as you want. Particularly if you've got uh, other targets, I'm going to select a uh, no-shoot target and drag it over here. And if you notice, it disappears. Well, not a problem. I'm going to release it right here to the left of the target and then move it right over here on top of this one. So you can easily move no-shoots around or have them, in this case, I'm going to enlarge the target. I'm going to go over here on the left hold the shift key down, 
and enlarge the target so it more or less overlaps. So you may want to do that. You may want to have the shoot target in the front and the no shoot in the back. Uh, you've got armored targets over here, different uh, situations. They just open and expand. I'm just arbitrarily grabbing stuff. They even got a Glock target over here. What am I talking about? Well, they got uh, the targets that Glock typically uses. Target two set. Uh, if you've got uh, some armored targets up here and you got them at an angle holding the shift key down and make it bigger, no problem. Uh, if you've got target stands uh, that you want to indicate and put on underneath the target, uh, you want to do that sort of function, you can. Steel targets. Um, here's our club uh, Texas Star. Let's make it a bit bigger. Uh, here we got drag over some poppers. Or what we use for popper targets, I'll put it, uh, let's make it about that size, and I'll put it over here. Barricades, yes, let's have uh, lots and lots of barricades. So I'll grab a typical wall here, make it a little larger. I'll go over here and I'll grab this, and it'll be a window. Let's say you want to create a window. I'm going to make it about that size. Let's see, let's hold down the shift key, make the window a little bigger, drag it over here. And voila, got a window inside a target. Don't we do that often enough? Uh, let me move the target over here, and I'll come up here. So uh, let's say you cut out a window in your target. Here's another one. We've used this in uh, many stages. Make it a little larger so you can see it on your screen. Hold the shift key down, and we make it large. Now, if you got a prop out here and you don't need it, just take it and put it back in the inventory. Okay? You clean it up. You don't need it. It's gone. See, I'm not even trying to get it in the right uh, location. Okay. Uh, here's one. Uh, it's got a door. Uh, maybe you want to call this the uh, the barricade. And you can stand behind the barricade. I know it's got a doorknob here, but what the heck. You know, make do with what you want to do. Uh, you want a shooting box? Okay, let's put a shooting box in. Uh, I'm just grabbing uh, this one. It's in the barricades, but I'm going to call this a whoops. I'm going to call this a shooting box. I'll make it nice and large so you can see it there. We got some props. Uh, got cars. Got uh, bodies here. Got tables. Yeah, you know, pick up your uh, prop off the table. Put a chair in uh, front of it or next to it and so forth. Now, let's talk about labeling here. This is the way the easiest I way to find things. Click on the uh, labels and notes. Uh, delete that. I'm going to call this uh, P1, uh, position 1 for this uh, stage. I'll move it over here, and I'm just going to drop it arbitrarily. Not a problem. And I want to put that P1 in the P1 box. There it is. Now, if you want to have a target 1, I've got a target one here. Take and drop it, and I'll put it uh, just right there off the target, and then I'll put it on the target that I'm calling T1. And I found if you're numbering a number of uh, positions or targets, simply to type them, type them up, drag from here, drop it, come back over here, do a T3, drop it. I don't try to position it uh, exactly on the target, but uh, I would get all my T1, T2, T3, all the way up to T10, uh, position 1, position 2, position 3. Just drop it arbitrarily anywhere on this uh, page, and you're all set. Okay, enough of uh, this. You can experiment uh, uh, as much as I have with the account or just use the demo and see if you like the, the drag and drop situation. When you're all done, you're all set, at least you think you are, you just click the Save button here. Give it a moment, and it's been saved in my library. What are we talking about here? Well, if you have an account, uh, go to Library, and you can see My Library. I'll click on that. Give it a moment here, and here's my demo stage. Uh, you can get a gross look at it uh, by simply hovering over the stage diagram. Um, email the stage to any parties. You can download it as a PDF. There you go. And uh, I can simply download it here and then send it off to whoever you want to. 
uh, here are some pre other stages that I've made uh, and uh, copied. And what I mean by copy, let's go over here to library again. Let's go to the shared library. Now, this is where the uh, 23,000 plus other stages are available. So if you want something, uh, you can click on it, get the newest ones, uh, alphabetical all the way down to, I need Steele's targets. You need to search the library. You can go and search based on uh, these, create, uh, these uh, conditions and so forth. Search by the name of it or the creator, et cetera, et cetera. So have fun looking at 23,000 plus uh, other stages. Once you've uh, found something that you like, uh, clicking on this button right here allows you to copy it to my library. So it's neat, that way you can look at 23,000 other stages, copy it, and then once you've uh, copied it, I'm, I'm just gonna arbitrarily, let's uh, uh, jump ahead here to, uh, let's say uh, the newest, uh, let's see uh, where we are. I don't know where the heck I am. I'm going to just simply copy uh, this very first one right here, copy it to my library, click on the button here, OK, and it's copied. So let's go look at the C-O-N-T-R-U-C in my library. OK, let's see. It's probably going to be, yeah, here it is. It's the last one in my library. I'm going to create a new stage. And this is the name, uh, stage title, based on the person who first made it. And I'm just simply going to call this the new stage. And I would go and look at this, uh, check out the rules, so forth like that. Well, looks like he didn't have anything there. Well, that was a bummer, and that's a loss. Well, I think you get the idea. You've watched long enough. Uh, let's call this a uh, finish here. And just to let you know that this is an online tool to create your stages if you didn't want to use uh, PowerPoint or something like it. Thanks for watching.